What is up, boys? Uh, we are visiting an old faithful legendary duel of season three. We got four boxes here. It's going to be a quick and dirty opening, guys. I needed something to open. So, you know, I went into the closet perusing and I, you know, have some boxes of legendary duel of season three. It's not the worst set to open as well. I mean, who doesn't love opening up pro tag specific uh product essentially so if you guys are not familiar with it it will it, it is reprinting legendary duelist five and six five had the Kura and some evil heroes which were the the big draws there and uh also some predator plan stuff which is kind of kind of big as well because kind of generic uh and then uh pack six had a whole bunch of, of pro tag stuff so that includes Jaden heroes uh and yugi spellcaster magician stuff so let's go ahead and open this these four up and see what we get uh you know we could get a pretty special die in here that is, uh, actually, I haven't seen it in the Mario in a while. It was like 20 bucks when these uh, first came out because they were pretty rare. Like, it was like one per case or something like that, or display or whatever. All right, so it is not, although it is a Dark Magician die, which a lot of people thought was going to be the, uh, you know, super mega special die of the set. And our promo is Mystical Elf White Lightning. It's unfortunately not that good. So it's uh, not the better of the about eight promos. Uh, all right, so let's see what this mini box has. Evil Hero, Dark Guy. I probably should have been an Ultra, but it, it, at least it's an Ultra in Speed Duel now. Evil Hero, Infernal Gainer, Dark Sanctuary, Predator Plant, uh, Chlamydia or something like that. Sangin. Okay, so another gimmick from this set, guys is that you're, we're going to get three ultras per pack and you can get the different colored ultras in blue uh yellow which is kind of it was basically gold and red representing the uh the, the dorms of dual academy which is kind of cool in my opinion e emergency call as a common revival of the immortals dark spirit of banishment prataplast yay nice evil hero inferno wing in uh red lettering that is awesome man representing the uh, Slifer Slackers there. And that's a biggie right there. Dark Magician Girl Ultra. The These, man... Oh, actually, is it... Hor Dude, the cutting is terrible. I just noticed that. Look at that. It's got a huge forehead. What is up with that? It's actually... That's pretty funny, man. That's pretty funny. Anyway, so... These... Uh, the Dark Magicians have uh, kind of been... Being bought out. Actually, this was being bought out not that long ago, so I'm going to put it to the side for now. Uh, and that is because it's somewhat collectible, you know. I mean, all Dark Magician cards kind of are uh, for the most part. I think people just have a Dark Magician Girl collection in general of all the printings because it seems like every Dark Magician Girl printing has some kind of buyouts, you know, eventually. Uh, Earthbound, Immortal, Ocelot, Peaks, Peace Q, and uh, Red Lettering, Supreme King's Castle. Nice. Nice. Satellite Synchron, Miracle Fusion, Common. That's kind of cool. Dark Magician, Dark Magical Circle, Ultra Rare, in the yellow lettering. And Tuning. Ooh, I wonder when, when we're going to get the, uh, the Alt-R Tuning in the TCG, like, what product would, would that even be under? Maybe, maybe the next Battles of Legend, but I don't think Battles of Legend has ever imported Altar. No, you know what? That's a lie. They imported uh, Five-Headed or Five-God Dragon or whatever the hell the guy's name is uh, in Attack, like, four years ago. So, not a Dark Magician Girl die, unfortunate. The Dark Magician Girl die is blue. We're looking for blue. Ooh, that ain't bad, though. Soul Servant. This is like 10 bucks currently in the market. That's really the, another reason why I'm opening this up, because a lot of the promos are money, actually. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see if we pull some bangers there. Evil Hero, Inferno, something or other. Dark Sanctuary. Another clap there. Chlamydia, boy. Predator Practice, Evil Hero, uh, Malicious Edge. Okay, should have been an Ultra. I mean, all, all the other evil heroes seem to be Ultras, except one of the more playable ones. Kind of funny how that works. Junk Converter in the uh, red lettering there. Kind of cool. I think that was a scene buyout not that long ago as well. Uh, let's see, Earthbound Immortal and Evil Hero 
Lightning Golem. We need more evil heroes, Konami. Like, these, these, the evil heroes are just so badass and so unplayable. Like, as a deck, without other supporting cards or other supporting hero sub archetypes, they're not that good. Like, there's, there's just like two, literally two good evil heroes currently in the TCG format with, uh, you know, the, if you go in the, uh, what's it called, a speed duel world, then there's another playable evil hero in the form of Dark Gaia, but uh, digressing here a bit. Neo, Spatian, Aqua Dolphin, evil hero Inferno, Wing as an ultra, uh, yellow or gold. Wing Karibo should have been the Winking Karibo, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Perform a pal, Celestial Magician, and Magician's Robe. Okay, so somewhere, uh, somewhere... There is a Dark Magician without clothes. That is crazy. Okay, so besides Soul Servants, the Dark Magicians and, and Liquid Boy, believe it or not, are all around $10 currently. So what is that? Like three out of the eight or ten promos are value. And the uh, the new Harpy Lady that was introduced or imported in the set is also kind of going up in value. So... I mean, it's worth picking up these boxes, man. And, unfortunately, we got a Junk Synchron. That's what it is. Junk Synchron die. And our promo is something good, maybe? Ooh, ooh something great. That's another 10 bucks right there. Although, okay, so are they in good condition? Because, believe it or not, a lot of these come came in damage. I had so many that came in damage. I actually have a Soul Servant that's, like, literally bent in half. Like, how does that happen, Konami? How? Tell me how that happens. All right, so let's see what this third mini box has in store for us. Uh, you know, Dark Ma the, the Dark Magicians isn't that bad of a pull still, even with the reprint it got. So let's, we'll see if we can pull that. Sangin in red, lettering, scrap, iron signal, predplant, drosphilia, necro face. Spear Message L for Loser, Loser, Actuator Don Walker in blue lettering. Actually, was that seen buyouts? I don't think so, but it, yeah, I don't think so. It was a very expensive card before the reprints, though, like around 20 bucks. Performing Pal Celestial Magician was our ultra in yellow lettering. Cool. A lot of the hero stuff, actually, a lot of, a lot of key staples is very accessible now due to this set. Miracle Fusion as a common, E-Emergency Call as a common, um... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot, actually. Pratt of Practice and Blue Lettering. I feel like I keep pulling that one. Dark Spirit of Banishment. Dark Calling. Oh, wait, was that a... No. Dark Calling. Another... I mean, it's not as much of a staple anymore because a lot of people aren't playing the evil hero Malicious, malicious Bane anymore in the extra deck. But, you know, if you are running that, it is a staple. Pratt of Plast. Evil Hero. Infernal Prodigy. I really do like this as an ultra, by the way. It doesn't feel like a wasted slot because this has potential. I think people were playing this in sprites at a point. Um, but uh, anyways, Ebon, hi, Magician. Hey, there we I said it. The pack I said, Magician's Tools, isn't that bad of a pull. I pull it. And by the way, if you haven't been watching my videos, my recent Rarity Collection 2 videos, uh, first of all, why haven't you? Because they're amazing. And second of all, yeah, I pulled two Magician Souls QCR spoilers in in uh, different videos. So, yeah, I feel like Magician Souls is now coming to me because I am the true Dark Magician Master. You thought it was Yugi, but it's actually me. Psych. It's not, because I actually don't play Dark Magicians. <laughs> Although the Dark Magician is the Dark Magicians, or the Magi Magician Souls card, I should say. It's kind of a cool artwork. Like, I really dig it. If if the uh, Dark Magician archetype wasn't so trash, I'd probably pick it up. But the last die here, folks, is a hero die. Okay, okay. I mean, I guess I'll take that one. I have pulled quite a bit of the uh, Dark Magician girl die already, so can't be too greedy. And the promo, Prada Plant Tree... Who? Try... Veredum or something like that. Not bad on the promos. Two half were actually money chase cards. So, I mean, I'll take that any day. Pretty decent spreads, if I do say so myself. All right. So we still could get the evil hero, a dusted gold and malicious bane, which are the highest 
value cards besides Magician Souls. Uh, saying it in red lettering. One of the big problems from this set, though, was the short prints. So, I mean, I wouldn't doubt that we don't pull any of them, to be honest. Spirit Message N, Scrap Iron Signal, Apprentice Illusion Magician. Very Magician-centric, actually, opening. I usually pull more hero stuff than the Magician stuff. I mean, Magician Souls, we got the Dark Magician Girl, and now the Apprentice Illusion Magician. Not bad. I, and also, the promos were all... Uh, the higher the higher value ones were all Dark Magician. So, Perform a Pal Celestial Magician as a Blue Letter Ultra, and the rest here. Favorite Hero is one of my favorite cards. Kind of funny, funny enough, favorite, favorite card. Um, because of the artwork, and it just doesn't really do much, unfortunately. Because uh, you can search it too. That's the thing. Like it, it is playable in the decks. Like it's viable just because of the how the decks work. But it's just a, a very slow card. Uh, Magician of Dark Illusion, Quick Draw, Synchron, Blue Lettering, Ultra, Satellite Synchron, Miracle Fusion, Magician, Magician Circle, Hero Flash. They'd be flashing people. Maybe that's why they get arrested so much. I don't know what I'm talking about. Actuator Dawn Walker and Red Letter Ultra. Come on, one more good card in here. Two, that ain't bad. I mean, it's not expensive, but as a card, it isn't bad. So I should have been more specific that I wanted an expensive card. So, I mean, that is the video, guys. Uh, not bad on the polls, honestly. I mean, these boxes, I feel, I think you can get a display that has eight boxes for about 50 to 60 bucks on TCG Player. And this is already 20 bucks from four boxes, which is half a display and a Magician Souls. That's a lot of value. This is already like 30 something bucks. So, yeah, not bad. I might be picking up some more boxes, actually, now that I think of it, because these promos are going to be climbing a little bit further up. I do feel like they're going to be reprinted soon in the 2024 tins as QCRs, though. So the, the value is probably going to drop on them. But, uh, you know, as long as you get them before then and then sell be, uh, before the uh, 2024 tins come out, you should be making out pretty decent. That is the video, guys. Catch you guys in the next one.